Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to create this interesting halftone effect uh, in Adobe Illustrator. You can also change the halftones, like uh, these kind of symbols, you know, other kind of symbols, but uh, the pattern gonna remain the same, so it's pretty cool. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. I'm gonna leave it like this, this one, so it's, it's like a reference, and I'm gonna make uh, one on this uh, new um, artboard okay first thing is select something for the fill i'm gonna select the black if you have a stroke deselect the stroke you can select the stroke and click on this none so basically you don't have any kind of color there or any kind of stroke so i'm gonna press the fill so the fill is on the top and now we're gonna go here and select the rectangle tool i'm gonna make the first line like this and now I'm going to press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. The Ctrl F basically places, uh, copy paste the shape on top of the shape. So it's like this. I'm going to press and hold Shift, rotate it once. And here we have the plus. I'm going to unite with the pet finder right here. I'm going to click to the unite. If you don't have the pet finder, you can go to Windows and select here the pet finder. Okay, I gotta scale this down a little more like uh, in the previous one. Let me see how I did it before. Okay, it, it's pretty good. And from here, actually, I'm gonna make a symbol out of this stuff. So I'm gonna go to the symbol right here. If you don't have the symbol, you can go to Windows and select the symbol. And now I'm gonna drag this here. And I'm going to rename, rename it and click OK. And now we're going to place it right into the center. Uh, go here to the align and make sure you select align to artboard. Usually is align to selection. This basically, if you have two or more forms and shapes, then it's going to align those forms and shapes. If you click on align to artboard, this is going to align it to the artboard. So we want to uh, put this perfectly into the center. So I'm going to click on this horizontal and vertical. Okay, I'm going to create a new copy, control C, control V. And uh, we're going to align this to the bottom. I'm going to click this, I mean to the top, sorry. And uh, what is this? This one. Actually, we need to re um, to scale this down. Uh, right now it's like 17 something i'm gonna make it like four by four it's gonna be this this small and i'm gonna click this again a vertical align and there you go i'm gonna create a new copy and i'm gonna click this one vertical align bottom now select the top one right click arrange Send to back. Select the bottom one, a right click, arrange, bring to front. There you go. So we got these three, we're gonna select them, go to object, go to blend and make. So it's gonna create basically a lot of copies uh, it can create uh, less copies, more copies, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna adjust the copies by double clicking on the blend tool and click previews, select specified distance. I'm gonna increase the number 20, 24, 25, I think it's a good number here. I'm gonna click OK. All right, I'm gonna create a new copy, drag it to the left. And then I'm going to double click on this. So basically you double click on this and you can select um, this uh, center, center of the plus. Then I'm going to make it small four by four. I think that's the smallest one, which I, I remember. Yeah, it's four by four. So all of them are, are going to be the same, uh, same dimension. I'm going to go and press this, or you also can go here to select, you know, and press this. 
does the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna go and right click again. Arrange, send to back, right click, arrange, bring to front. Select all of these, go to objects, blend and not make, but expand right now. From here, we're gonna go and uh, go to object again and blend again and now you press the make. We're gonna double click on this, click previews and uh, we should type in the same amount. I think it was like 20, I don't even remember. Or it was like 30. I think it was like 25. Was it? Yeah, 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 it was like 25. So yeah, this is how you make the half tone work. All right, how you can adjust this stuff? Um, you click on this, um, you click on the symbol, you double click the symbol. As you can see, here is the plus. I'm gonna rotate it to become a X and press shift and rotate it once, release it. So every each of uh, the shapes gonna, you know, make a become an X. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and there's another option. You go and go to blend, you go to expand like this. And now let's create some other shapes. I'm gonna create a star. Let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a star. I'm gonna, and it should be like the same size as, uh, you know, these shapes. I don't know how big was this, can't remember it, but uh, I'm gonna scale it like this, something around that. So I'm gonna put it here into the symbols. I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna rename it star, start, <laughs> click OK. And now we have a new symbol. Uh, yeah, we just expanded and now we can uh, basically change in whatever shape you want if you just add it here to the symbol. So I'm gonna go here, right up here, which where you can see the X, click on it. And here you can select, uh, you know, whatever symbol you want. And here you can see the star. So yeah, this is how it works. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos also and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.